All right, just because I'm gonna show you how to use streamers effectively doesn't make you a streamer junkie, or does it? Oh, holy crap. Do you have a hit? Nice, nice, that's a good fish. Oh, there we go. Man, he came up and hammered it. Fish rising right there. There it is. I got him. Oh, jeez. Boy, he just, just smashed it. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm gonna show you five ways on how to fish streamers. Now, a lot of you have been asking me questions about streamer fishing because I've been catching some fish lately on streamers. So let's talk about these five different ways of fishing streamers. And if you have done streamer fishing in the past, you may potentially learn something in this video because there's one particular technique, and it's gonna be number five, that's super effective that I do all the time and I catch a lot of fish doing it exactly this way. Fish on! <laughs> Oh yes, dude, it's a bull trout. Number one, so the first way to fish a streamer is just a basic swing. And what you wanna do is essentially, you're gonna cast that streamer out straight in front of you. If you're fishing a river, and we're talking rivers here, if you're talking, if we're fishing rivers, you're gonna cast it straight out and you're gonna let it swing. Now, one of the key things that you wanna pay attention to when you're swinging streamers you want to try to do just the one mend. So when you cast that streamer out there, mend it upstream to get a nice line to your fly, but then let it swing naturally. Naturally meaning don't put any influence on the fly, just let it swing. Now there is a technique at the end of the swing that you're gonna to wanna to do that can be super effective. And that is an outside mend. So as that streamer is about ready to be parallel with the river, do a couple of outside mends that means mend towards the river and that just kind of helps extend that swing puts a little action on the fly and sometimes you can get an eat by doing that like happened on this particular video oh holy crap now if you're fishing streamers from a boat it is important to make sure that a you hit the bank. I was with a guide in Colorado that called it banging banks. You want to get that streamer as close to the edge as possible. Fish hang out on that edge to where there's a little current, not a lot of current, a little current. They're waiting to ambush something. So typically bait fish are also in those areas and when they're trying to escape, they're going to run away and into the fast current. So by banging banks, getting that streamer as close to the edge as possible, and then quickly drawing it away from the edge if you're on a boat, that is super effective at catching fish using streamers. So it's called banging banks, and make sure you put a little action on that as well, because if you're flowing at the same velocity as the river is flowing, you gotta put a little action on that streamer to entice a bite. All right, so the next method is called the dangle. Now, I did this recently fishing a creek, there was just no way to make a cast. So I just literally let that streamer kind of extend downstream and I was able to tuck it just off the edge and underneath a wood pile that I would never be able to cast to. Oh, there we go. Nice, oh, nice rainbow. I essentially was just letting the current really kind of interact with the streamer. And as soon as I got that streamer kind of in the zone, which was almost underneath this wood pile, bang, a fish came up and just hammered it. So don't be afraid a lot of times, it's like the no finesse technique, right? Just, just give it a dangle and you might be surprised on what'll happen next. All right, the next technique is called the swing and skitter. That's what we're gonna call it, the swing and skitter. So I was fishing a smaller stream that had a lot of pocket water, a lot of big boulders, a lot of varying currents. And I would just chuck that streamer, both slightly upstream, parallel, and just downstream, hitting these little portions, little openings in behind rocks and pillows, which are in front of rocks. I was hitting all these places with the streamer, but I was giving it a ton of action, right? I, I wanted to entice a bite by just having this streamer, this bait fish that I was trying to imitate, 
really just kind of panic swimming through the water. That could be super effective and put a lot of variations in it, right? To where sometimes I'm, I'm pulling it fast, I'm pulling it slow. Sometimes I'm just kind of letting it drift through the pocket, but then quickly grabbing it and pulling it. Kind of build the mindset like you're one of those little fish trying to make its way through a minefield and a potential monster sitting behind one of those rocks. And if you do that, right, if you fish it that way in the mind of what a trout might be thinking about when they see, or what a bait fish might be thinking about when they're trying to navigate the waters full of these voracious trout, try that technique and a lot of times you can have great success, like on this day right here. All right, the final technique, if you do this, I promise you it's gonna work. It worked for Kobe recently on a recent trip. I asked him to do, just hey, humor me, upstream cast, right? He threw it right behind this pillar uh, that had a, bottom, a bunch of water rushing, but it's all coming at him. And he threw it right by, beside the edge and where the current started to pick up and quickly stripped it back and caught a really, a just, just a beautiful fish. This upstream cast has been responsible for a lot of big fish. In fact, a lot of times I'll swing in a lot of the ways I just described, right? The traditional swing, but before I leave, and sometimes even before I start, I'll hit it with the upstream cast. For whatever reason, fish that see one of these bait fish swimming downstream, their immediate reaction is that that bait fish is trying to get away and I need to go and eat it. It is so effective. I have caught countless big fish utilizing the upstream cast. Now, it's a little tougher to keep the handle on it because when your line is rushing back to you because it's coming with a current, your fly is sinking really fast, right? Because there's really no water resistance against the fly. You have to be on your game and make sure you keep a tight line. So it's almost like you're tarpon fishing or big game fishing because you're stripping that thing back as fast as you can, doing your best to keep a tight line. But next time you're out there, just humor me. Try an upstream cast and I think you might be surprised on what might happen. One of the most effective ways to fish a streamer when you're out there. So finally, another way to fish streamers, because typically when you're talking streamers, you're talking rivers, but you can fish streamers in lakes. And I've had a lot of success with big fish fishing these giant streamers in still water. Couple of ways to do it, right? You can just cast it out and strip it back in towards the surface. And a lot of times fish will blast it. Sometimes you can cast it out, have a longer leader, let it sink, and then start stripping in it. Other times you can put a sink tip on and let that thing depth charge, right? For some of the big fish that are way down deep. And other times, and not, not as readily done, is put a streamer under an indicator. And this will work better during the winter months when the takes are a little bit slower. The fish are a little more lethargic. But have that streamer under an indicator, vary the depths, and just kind of give it a slow twitch, 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 and maybe your finger rolling it back or trolling slightly if you're in a float tube. But a lot of times you'll see that indicator go down because they just like that slower presentation in the winter. So those, those are some other ways that you can fish streamers, not just in rivers, but in lakes. Wow, so spotted up. All right, well, I hope that helps you the next time you're out there fishing streamers. And I promise you, if you employ those techniques, you're gonna catch a lot more fish on streamers than you are today. And you may even become a streamer junkie. That's possible. All right, if you're new to fly fishing and need a little help with your cast, check out this video right here. After watching this video, eight minutes, you'll cast that fly rod a little bit better. All right, everybody, till the next time, fish on.